I was actually going to look at jurisdiction because uh, the chairman of the PDP also talked about, well, since they have been refused or their posters mm. have been taken out of streets in Lagos, mm. they decided to make use of the third mainland bridge, <laughs> which he says uh, doesn't fall under your jurisdiction. No. Look, see, and I have to make um, very, it very clear. There, there are various issues in this. One, there are a lot of federal high roads in this state, and most of them, Lagos State actually built the street light poles on those federal high roads. The revenue we collect from people paying to use the street light poles is ring fenced and used to power the street lights, buy diesel, maintain, retrofit. Now, when you talk about the law, federal high road, let's even assume that it's federal high road. If you didn't put, you know, the, the street light poles there, does it give you any moral authority to go and, you know, take control completely over it? You did not. But the law says, and I mentioned it, the fourth schedule of the Constitution, which says that local councils have control and regulation over outdoor advertising and hoardings. So if you want to put your advert on any street light pole, you have to apply and pay. The APC paid for the, you know, the street light poles that you know, they, they're using. Why would any other party refuse to pay for using the street light pole? Because as I mentioned, it is the revenues from the street light poles are used to power the street lights. It is ring fenced. Well, did you have any meeting between political parties and your body? Your That's what I said in November last year. We had this town hall meeting when we invited all the political parties and we told them exactly what you know, this whole thing was all about. What's the procedure for um, ensuring that when the rules are violated, mm. uh, you, know, you, you call the offending parties to order? Look, if... Um, it's very simple. If someone comes and, you know, gives you two dirty slaps, what do you do? You call the police to come and, you know, arrest the person, isn't it? When people infringe on the rules, if you, if you put something where you're not supposed to put it, as regulators and with the powers that, you know, um, um, you know the, the, the rules uh, and the law has placed on us, we go and remove. It's as simple as that. We go and enforce. You don't call the attention of the parties to, you know, the fact that they are infringing mm. the rules and give them perhaps an opportunity to take it down by themselves before no. you finally go ahead to enforce the. You laws. enforce if you know if someone comes, you know, you remove. You that's that's what it is. You, you remove the you know the illegal illegal thing. And That's has, what it is. Has the PDP has any cause? I mean, be more specific now, because mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, this also raises the question of inclusion for, yes. the, for say, the smaller parties, for mm -hmm. instance. How do we intend to ensure that they too can get their message heard if they cannot afford, say, mm -hmm. the negotiations? But let's look at the PDP. Cause the PDP let me just take you on that mm -hmm. one. Look, outdoor is not an medium for, and with all due respect, for someone doing carpentry or, you know, yeah, Seems, you know, seamstress. It's a very expensive medium. Anywhere in the world. It's not, um, you know, buying <coughs> 20 seconds on, on radio or something like that. It is a very expensive medium anywhere in the world. And so it is not meant, it is meant for people who can afford it. If someone puts up um, an electronic billboard, for instance, on average, it, it, it costs about 250 million. So, you, 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 you can put this in context now on people who can go and approach them to use those um, kind of um, outdoor platforms. Uh, have you received any complaints from, say, the PDP in terms of their inability to be able to, you know, get space or even put up uh, posters? I have not received a single complaint, not even, a, you know, a telephone call personally to me or even an official um, letter. As we speak, the PDP, they've not made a single application as we speak to use a single street light pole in Lagos State. As, uh, you know, I'm not aware of any application. You see, look, the attitude is, you know, we can do whatever we want and get, get away with it. I can come and remove the adverts that you paid for, you applied for and you paid for, and 
nothing will happen. Well, we, we, it, we, are out of it, time. Just, we are out of time, uh, yes. uh, Mr. Noir, but I actually wanted to take just about two questions from uh, people. And Taufik Ghani mm -hmm. wants us to ask you because uh, he mm -hmm. said uh, he's got evidence that your agency influenced mm -hmm. some of the big time advertisers mm -hmm. to reject uh, Mr. Agbaje's uh, bill board. And he said that, well, they have evidence that. What's the evidence? To that. What is it? I mean, look, talk is cheap. Yes. What is the evidence? I don't, we don't own the boards. What is the evidence? Is it possible that none um, of his posters would see, be on any look, of the billboards? I've been reluctant to say a few things, but let me say something. And, and you know, the, the, the truth of the matter is this. I think one political party probably thought ahead of this whole thing. Planned very well. I've been reluctant to talk about it, but I have to, you know. And in the course of that, one political party went to go and sleep. And they woke up in the middle of the night. And they are complaining. You know, it's not, uh, it's not part of uh, my job to you know, help anyone to go and secure an, a billboard. So if, 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 if some people have planned and they worked hard and, you know, Look, let me tell you, the street lamp poles, and I've, you know, I've heard people say this so many times, oh, there are so many APC you know, um, street lamp poles all over the place. And if you look at it, they will come, they will apply. We want to use this place. And it's first come, first serve. We want to use this place. Um, we need 50 poles. Does okay. it mean does and it then give approval? Is it does paid it, for? Does it mean the PDP? Yes, it's paid the, for. The PDP hasn't That's what applied. I'm saying. It's so, paid for because uh, let, we, let we me get this straight. To, to run the street lights. Does we, it mean the PDP didn't apply? I'm telling you that I've not seen a single application from any agent or you know PDP to use a street light pole. Not one. On the average, how much are we talking about here? Well. Um, on the street light poles, yes. yeah, it's, it's, you know, if you, if you use um, the LASA fees. Now, the, the people, the agencies who come to apply on behalf of you know, a political party or a company, um, they reserve the right to charge as much as they want. But if a street light pole, one, will cost you 150000 in in the high street, and in the inner streets, will cost you about 75000 that's, that's how it is. In, b b before I joined LASA, it used to be 500,000 for one street light pole. And um, interest waned after a while, and we had to re respond to market forces. And so today, it's 150,000. For how long? For, for a year. Well, anyway, I think, uh, well, you've been able to, well, state uh, yours, but um, we'll, we'll look in the course of... Uh, well, the dates to come to get uh, the evidence uh, because uh, Taufik Ghani I, I, did say, well, he mm. has evidence and uh, he's of the PDP. He's a spokesperson for the PDP uh, in, in Lagos this, State. This, you know, and, uh, everybody can see what they want. But, well, um, we're, we're, we're really out of time. Okay. So we'd like to thank you so very much for finding time to join us this morning. Uh, Mr. George Noir, he is the chief executive officer of the Lagos State Signage and Advertisement Agency.